So we're delighted to bring you our next guest. He's a real hero of mine growing up. Contrary to what he's often claimed, he is not from near Moscow, but in fact from what is now the Czech Republic. He amassed 375 <laughs> appearances for the Hammers, winning one Hammer of the Year in the process. He's a cult hero. He's a goalkeeper extraordinaire. He's a big boy. What's his name? His name is Ludic McClosko. Welcome to the show, Ludo. Thank you very much. Um, so we, we were saying just beforehand, um, you've been you were with West Ham for many years, but I can't ever recall hearing you get interviewed. Uh, <laughs> no, I try to always keep the low profile. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so going all the way back, you signed in 1990. I wondered, had you ever heard of West Ham before you signed? Um, not really. Not. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. Uh, just it came very quickly. Um, and I had a news. I get the news that uh, West Ham are looking for a goalkeeper, and they invited me for the trial. And uh, yeah, and then uh, then I came, and uh, it, everything started from them. From them. Yeah. What were your first impressions of the club? Uh, I was uh, when I came in. I was very happy. Um, I had a very good good week. Uh, that time, Lou McCurry he brought me in. Uh, I had uh, one very tough uh, tough week uh, in a training, and uh, I think maybe I was uh, only player who didn't have a medical <laughs> checkup because uh, after this uh, this training of for for one week, they told me that uh, if I I finish this week. I must be. I must be fit, and it must be okay. <laughs> mm. So, so you signed for Lou Macari, like you say. Um, but we had Alan Devonshire on last week, and he said that m- m- quite a few of the players didn't like him. What, what was your impression of Lou Macari? Uh, I can't say too much because uh, I never played for him. Oh right. Because he bowled, he bowled me, and uh, next week he was gone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <clears throat> so straight after Lou Macari you had Billy Bonds um, and he was obviously yeah. a, a West Ham legend what what was his management style like? Um, yeah I think Billy he was unbelievable he was a great great man a great character honest and um, he he likes his running he likes his fitness um, mostly he he was doing Running with the, with the boys and keeping the boys fit. Uh, no, I can't say can't say bad word against him. I think he was fantastic. Mm. In fact, we interviewed Billy Bonds a couple of weeks ago, and he said, I think it was the first time we got promoted out of the uh, the second tier. He said that that season you were unbelievable. What are your what are your memories of that season? Um, yeah, I remember that season because uh, it was a tough season. And uh, I know we won lots of games, uh, one nil, and uh, uh, we, we, we. I think we didn't score too many goals for the team who get promoted. But uh, uh, it was it was a very tough season. But uh, I think we had a very very good team um, and uh, great players. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, so straight after Billy Billy Bonds, it had kind of a, uh, we transitioned into Harry Redknapp. What, what what was the differences in management style between the two? Um, Harry, he likes his uh, he liked the players to play the football. Uh, he was more maybe um, more training on the field. More we played in more games. Um, most of the days we just uh, we we had uh, always five sides and. Uh, Play the footballs. Hmm. Who did you Who did you prefer as a manager, Billy Bonds or Harry Redknapp? I can't say. I think both both was good. Both, both were good, and uh, I think I enjoyed I enjoyed the both of them. Um, no, I think it's, it's very difficult to say who I will prefer. But, yeah. Um, no, I enjoyed the both. Hmm. So, I mean, the highlight of Billy Bonds' reign was probably the FA Cup semi-final against Nottingham Forest when uh, the referee Keith Hackett robbed us. Um, <laughs> yeah. what, what were your memories of that day? Um, I think it was... It, it didn't start well because uh, it was uh, when we had a player send off. Mm-hmm. I think it was that game, no? Yes. Uh, 
and uh, I think nothing went nothing went right for us, and uh, it was it was I think bad day uh, from the beginning. <laughs> but, but it was great great atmosphere. That's what I remember because mm. even when we because we lost because the game and it was a uh, fantastic atmosphere and uh, and a great great day for for the fans even when we lost but still they stayed behind us and that was that was fantastic yeah I mean, what what was your relationship like with the fans because i remember there was constant chance of ludo and of course you had your own song um what what, what was it like what was it like to play for west ham was it a bit special for you it was yes um I don't know. Um, I don't know why, but uh, I think the fans they they took me very well, and uh, we had always we had a great I think relationship. Uh, even through the, through the games, they was chatting my name and uh, calling what is the score, and they wanted me to show them. <laughs> and I really didn't didn't like it too much because uh, I was. Losing the concentration a little bit, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, but that was a part part of the games, and uh, oh, it was it was always it was fantastic, and uh, always I love to play for well then. Mm. Um, and <clears throat> talking about your playing career, man, I, I I personally thought one of the greatest games you had was that in that famous game against Manchester United on the last day of the ninety four ninety five season when you pulled off. Four or five world class, four or five world class saves. Um, I, I've since read in an in- interview that you were the only one warming up that day. How much truth is in that? I don't know. If I was the only one <laughs> warming up, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, I always I had my routine before the game, and uh, I always done it. I know we had a player like Julian Dix, who mm. his warm up was. Uh, Five minutes sitting in a hot bath, and that, that's it. Uh, and then he put put the socks on. Uh, <laughs> I think we've been a little bit different, but uh, he was a fantastic player, and uh, he did very well. And he didn't need a warm up. Mm. Um, everyone is different, but that time uh, the game was, I think, different than it is now. Um, and uh, no, I just it was it was a great great day. Uh, last game of the season, we had nothing to lose. Uh, we went just out to to enjoy enjoy our, our last game. Mm. And <clears throat> did you did you get the feeling that it was going to end one, or did you think that you were going to concede more? Or did you just feel on top of your game and knew you just weren't going to concede any more? No, I just always it was like every every for me it was like every other game. Mm. Um, but uh, that day, I really. Uh, maybe I had a luck because uh, um, I think you need it all the time. But uh, no, it was a it was a great 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 day uh, for us and for for Blackburn, but not for Man United. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, no, it was it was fantastic mm. and, and good memories from that day. Mm. You played on until 1998 for West Ham. Um, I wondered who was who was the best striker in training that you, that was on West Ham's books that you came up against. Oh, you mean if against? Uh, no, the best player, the, the best kind of player for West Ham in training for West Ham. Yeah, I don't know. It's difficult to say because mm. uh, from the time I. It was Trevor Morley when I came to West Ham. He was there. And I think he was a fantastic, fantastic striker for us. Uh, and it was Tony Cotty, um, who was very clever, um, and he he could score the goals, um, and lots of lots of others. Um, mm. I think he had a good player. And who who would you think was the best player you came up against in goal? Who was the one you really kind of feared? I can't say one player really mm. because it was Alan Shearer at that time and lots mm. of uh, other strikers, Ian Wright, and um, it was uh, I don't know. It's, we will need we will need maybe whole book for these players. 
<laughs> no, really. There was, I think, fantastic players in England uh, yeah. against our players. It was, uh, it was a player who been strong players. It was always uh, tough uh, to come. Uh, you had also technical players, all all sorts of good players, and it was it was great. Hmm. Um, I, I wonder, do you, do you still go back to Upton Park now? Do you still been? Do you still watch games? Uh, I don't have really too much time now to watch it because uh, with my job, what I'm doing now, I'm um, more look, uh, concentrating on the on the young players uh, in the Czech Republic and uh, trying to find the new talents. And uh, but still, I'm I'm coming to uh, to England. Uh, I was this year. I was a few times uh, in London, a few times in at West Ham. Uh, but mostly I went to watch uh, Academy Boys uh, and uh, I'm planning uh, to come for the Chelsea game uh, two weeks time mm. and I will be there and also I would like to come to watch uh, Young Boys under 18 play against mm. Fulham uh, on the morning and the afternoon come to the to West Ham game against Chelsea mm. um. Just on, on second last question, uh, Yussi Askelainen, he's ha- he may be having a bit of a crisis after that game against Norwich where he, he was at fault for one of the goals. Um, what's your thoughts on Yussi Askelainen? I think he's a good goalkeeper. Hmm. I think he is a good goalkeeper. Um, but maybe after this game, I think he needs another, another good game. Hmm. Because uh, I know people are, may say uh, he's maybe older. Uh, but I don't know. It's, it's up to manager, and uh, he's not. He's not. I can't really say because I didn't see him. Mm. Uh, and uh, it's up to the managers uh, who must decide if he maybe needs the rest uh, or, or he can carry on. Uh, mm. Yeah. Um, but but definitely he's a good goalkeeper. Mm. Um, Last question. I'm interested to know whether you know the lyrics to the famous Ludic McClosko song. <laughs> Sounds a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> will, you, will, you, will, you, will you say them for us? <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> Ludo, will, you, uh, will you just say, my name is Ludic McClosko, I come from near Moscow. That's all, that's all we need. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Did you ever fancy turning around to the North Bank or the Bobby Moore stand and saying, I'm not from near Moscow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's closer to London from <laughs> than to Moscow. <laughs> um, well, thanks very much for giving us your time, Ludo. No, You're a West no, Ham hero and it's a pleasure to talk to you. No, thanks so my much. Pleasure. It's my pleasure and I'm looking forward to see everyone on, uh, on the Saturday against Chelsea game. Awesome. Great. Thanks, Ludo. Awesome. Thanks, Ludo. Take care now. Thank you. Thank Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.